Hey guys, so what I want to bring to you here today is it's my friend Loki running around. Alright guys, so I'm going to step back for a second here. You can actually see that I'm, I'm wearing the men's Silver Ridge Columbia convertible pant right now. Okay, um, and that's going to get me into my first point about these. Um, how many miles do I have on you know this pair of pants that I'm wearing right now before I'm sitting here making a review about them well this pair of pants that I have on right now and I actually have probably about a half a dozen other Silver Ridge pairs of pants uh, that are all in the same condition they're almost like new still I've had this pair of pants that I'm wearing right now for about four years I've done everything from daily wear I basically I would say 99 percent of the time uh, unless I'm wearing work clothes or something like that hot cold weather I'm wearing these um, out and about, going to Walmart, going to the store, going to get gas, whatever. I'm wearing these. Travel. I, I bought one pair of these just to try them out. A um, little concerned about the price point on them because they were so cheap compared to comparable pants, and I'll get into that in a second. Wanted to see what they were all about. Um, after I bought them, wore them, and liked them, I bought a ton more for uh, travel, hiking, trail running, and stuff. So. This pair of pants that I have on right now have uh, traveled with me to Nova Scotia. They've been to Scotland. They've been to Ireland. They've been climbing all kinds of mountains, uh, overseas, and things. And again, they're they're basically in the same condition uh, as they were when they came out of the box. Rugged, durable, high quality pants. Um, the other thing I want to say is the hiking and trail running piece. So I'm not sitting on the couch in these things, and they stay in great condition. Uh, basically, I'm up in you know the White Mountains in New Hampshire hiking and. Uh, scaling rocks and doing all kinds of stuff. Um, if you haven't seen my video on the Huntington Ravine Trail, which is the most dangerous trail in the New Hampshire, uh, or I should say the essentially the East Coast, but it's in the New Hampshire uh, White Mountains National Forest called the Huntington Ravine Trail. If you haven't seen my video, check that out. I was wearing these pants when I was going up that trail. It's the most dangerous trail on basically the East Coast here. So um, again, high quality nylon is what they're made out of. Uh, they're breathable. They have uh, what they call Omni Wick and Omni SPF. What does that mean? Well, the wicking piece, I think we all get that, right? You're out hiking, uh, it's warm weather, it's hot weather. These things breathe. Um, so on that point, what I would tell you is, in my opinion, they don't say this on the website, in my opinion, they're water resistant. Um, I find that I don't get uh, too wet in them if it's pouring out. They're not waterproof. Um, so, you know, you can't, you know... <laughs> Uh, expect that out of these pants, but I, I would say that they're water resistant. Um, the other thing with the Omni wicking is that they dry extremely quickly. So um, if, for example, it pours out and then that rain goes away, you can assume within a, a short matter of time you're probably going to dry off pretty quick. It's, it's a great feature. The other thing that they have is the um, Omni SPF of these pants. What is that? Well, they say that there's uh, some type of technology in these pants that essentially gives it like an SPF of 50. So kind of cool, you know, if you're out there in the sun. And, and so the price point, where do these things fit in as far as price point goes? Comparable pair of pants, in my opinion, from my research and me looking at this whole thing, being a frugal guy, not a cheap guy, frugal guy. I want high quality stuff that I don't have to, you know, repurchase every so often. I want stuff that lasts. Um, the other side of that, the frugal piece, is that I don't want to pay through the nose for that. So that being said, where do these things fit, fit in here? So if you look at comparable pairs of pants with other manufacturers, I found a pretty good starting point. It's probably around 100 bucks plus, you know, goes skyward after that for a quality of pants like this with the different features and things like that. Um, where do these fit in? You go to Amazon.com, I have Amazon Prime, which you probably have seen in a couple of my videos here. Uh, so free shipping, uh, but the other piece is that you go to Amazon, you're going to see a big $60 with a nice line through it. You can actually pick these pants up on Amazon for, I think it's $39.99, but I'll say $40. Bucks. Can't beat the price, can't beat the quality, can't beat the durability. So what I want to show you guys now is kind of the range of mov movement, because this is important to me, being a hiker, being a runner, being a you know mountain climber I'm not a guy that goes up Everest but I do climb in the White Mountains and stuff like that up you know 4,000 foot plus peaks and stuff like that so being able to bend and move and and things like that is important to me so just to give you a couple of you know examples you know nice and flexible no problem squatting down um, you know 
nice movement in the knees, nice flexibility. You know, for example, if you're doing like a lunge or something like that, you know, it it's not tight here. It's it's nice and flexible. Lots of movement there. You know what I mean? So um, can't beat that at all. Especially again, if you go back to watching that Huntington Ravine video <laughs> that I posted, you'll see why that flexibility and that that movement here is is super important. All right, guys. So. Here are two pairs of the additional pair of pants, right? You can see I have at least three of them here, so you can see I'm uh, putting together quite a collection. Uh, if you go to Amazon or probably your retailer, I think there's something like at least a dozen different colors that you can choose from. I just happen to like these. This one right here, the gray, and this is actually the one that I'm wearing right now, the same exact color. This is called gravel. I just like it, right? Climbing around the mountains and stuff like that, traveling. Uh, I'm not exactly uh, a slob, but I'm close to it. <laughs> Spill something on this or, or you know, uh, playing with Loki out there, playing Frisbee. He bumps into me with a dirty Frisbee. You know, I don't look like a slob too much. Uh, these, I really like this color as well. Uh, I have worn these in the, uh, you know, out there hiking and traveling and stuff. This color is called Tusk. I really like it. So primarily uh, the, the pairs of pants that I have are Tusk, I'm sorry, Tusk or Gravel and uh, I really like them. So let's take a look at some of the, the features here. All right, so guys, let's take a look at the uh, some features here. So let's start with the back of the pants. You can see this is all, you know, really high quality stitching. Again, you know, uh, if, if I were holding up the pair of pants that I have on right now that I've had for, you know, four or so years, you'd see they are in the same exact quality. But this is almost a new pair of pants that I just got for Christmas here. So uh, the rear pockets, both Velcro. So that's nice, so you don't lose anything. And if you can actually see, let me see if I can show you guys. There's kind of like a mesh or like nylon uh, type of uh, inside of that pocket there. So you can see it's all breathable. I don't know if you guys can see that on the, uh, the inside there, okay? So again, both rear pockets, Velcro, which is pretty neat. And they actually have a little loop. I, I, I never use that, but maybe that comes in handy for, I don't know, keys or something like that. Um, Transitioning to the side, now on both sides you have two cargo pockets, one is Velcro, one is zip. I actually like that feature because, um, for example, if um, I have something important like car keys and I'm going, you know, uh, hiking or something like that, or my wallet, I like it being in the zip pocket here, which is the on the left-hand side, you know. Um, again, four years in and the zipper has never stuck, never failed me, never got hung up, nothing. Um, but I like that feature. Um, on the other side, what we have is a uh, Velcro cargo pocket, and again, they're pretty deep. You can fit, um, you know, phones and gloves and stuff like that in here. I like this one for if it's something quick, right? Maybe I have my GoPro that I'm filming on right now in my pocket and I'm hiking. I just go boom, you know, just like this, boom, just, you know, Velcro, get my camera, I'm good to go. Uh, the other feature that I wanted to point out that is that I really like, and I've only used a few times, but I really like this, is the convertible part of these pants. And what that means is, if you can see here on each pant leg, you can see just a little seam. You can't really see it too, too much, I guess, but underneath that is a zipper, right? So that's the convertible part of this. So you can actually um, take off both pant legs, basically from the knees down, and they become shorts. I've used that feature a couple of times, like when I was up uh, traveling to Nova Scotia in uh, August or June or whatever, you know, July, whatever it was, and it was nice and hot. It was real hot. Um, these breathed nice. It was a little too hot. So what I did? What did I do? I had these on. It was a little cool in the morning. Felt great. The day heated up. Got pretty hot. Zip, zip, boom. I have shorts on. I'm good to go. And I just stuck the uh, the pant legs in my uh, in my cargo pocket. Good to go. You know, don't lose them. The other thing I like is that both legs are actually marked L and R, so you can't really screw it up, you know? Actually, you can see, I think you guys can see, probably the R right there, so that's the right leg, right? So you can't screw it up. So I'm going to do just my left leg just briefly here, so you can see, you know, here's the zipper, right? So I'm going to kind of peel up that little seam there, and then I'm going to, let me see if I can, you know, you can just see, just one-handed, boom. You know, there's the old knee, <laughs> right? So if I wanted to, to do that and convert these, super easy, super quick. Um, and then the other, you know, huge plus there that I wanted to share is, you know, the quality of these pants, the zippers, right? Zippers are always a big thing. Do they get hung up? Do they, 
um, you know, jump off the tracks and stuff like that. I've never had that happen with these. Um, and I've done that zipping and unzipping out on the trail when I'm hiking and running and stuff like that too. All right, so now for the only bad news that I can share with you um, is the belt. <laughs> um, what I would tell you guys is that um, these come with a belt. Do not rely on this belt. If you need a belt for holding up your drawers, do not rely on this belt. Um, I can tell you, for example, whether I'm going to the store, whether I'm going to get gas, whether I'm climbing a mountain in the White Mountains of New Hampshire, tighten up this belt uh, probably within 30 to 60 seconds. Um, right? There's your nice tight belt, you're getting out of the car, you're going hiking, and within, honest to God, probably 30 seconds, it's going to be at its fully extended piece, and it becomes absolutely useless. Um, so that would be <laughs> the one downside of these pants, is the belt that they come from. For whatever reason, the material that the belt's made out of, this belt buckle slides all around, and if you're, again, counting on this uh, belt to keep your drawers up, you might want to buy another belt. That is the only negative that I can share with you about these pants. Alright guys, so the final verdict here, I think you can tell. You're not going to find a better, more high quality pair of pants at this price point, period. I challenge you to go out and do that. Uh, find a, a pair of pants that's as high of a quality uh, for the same price point. You're not going to be able to find it. I've worn these for travel, I've worn them hiking, running, camping, climbing, falling. <laughs> Uh, I wear them daily, go out and get, you know, like I said, gasoline or groceries, doesn't matter, um, and they have never failed me. Um, so what I would tell you guys is, again, the ultimate verdict here, if you're a frugal person like me, you want that high quality, but you don't want the high price tag, you cannot beat these men's Columbia um, Silver Ridge convertible pants, can't beat it. Um, so if you like this review, please remember to comment, subscribe, and like the video, and we'll keep those reviews coming. Thanks, guys.